I found a dead girl on the moor. Murdered. Better off out of it. Don't talk like that. I died 20 years ago. It was all right until your mother left me. One of them questioned me. Sour faced bastard. He wouldn't be the first married man to invite a pretty girl for a quiet drink. Are you getting a kitten for company? They say my wife's a moor widow. That was your first time, wasn't it? Yes. He's never made love to you. He did try. No, he can't bear me to touch him. There's a young woman missing. Her husband rang us. We're looking for her. Why didn't you say you knew her when you saw the body? I met her twice, briefly. I knew Mansfield in London. He nearly killed another policeman. Found him with his wife. This is more than just sex, isn't it? You don't like women, do you, Stephen? And did she have long blonde hair? Like mine? Like the first girl? Like your mother? She's not my mother. My mother was beautiful and young with golden hair that shone like the sun. Who are you? Bastard! Keep off the moor. I had a premonition when I was a boy. I knew one day I'd find a body on the moor. And then a second and a third. What are you doing here? I've got to see you. Go away. No. Go away! Not until we've talked. Touch you enough. Anywhere. Everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Nick. I know what you must think. We could go away. Clear out of this place, be together. I was born here. I've lived here all my life. This is where I belong. No, you belong with me. You know you do. We belong together. You don't understand. Don't I? You couldn't. You come from the city. They don't understand. We're different people. 
different sorts of people. Lynn, you know nothing about people who live in cities. You've never been to one. You've never been to London. You've never been abroad. You've never been anywhere. You're stuck in this ghost town. Open doors and closed minds. Please, will you go? There's a world out there, Lee. But you stay here. You'll die. Inside. You'll end up like the rest of them around here. Knowing nothing, doing nothing, being nothing. You better go. Please come with me. Come away from this graveyard. Live your life the way you want to, not the way your family wants to, Steve and the rest of them. Be yourself, Lynn. Learn to live. I could only ever love Stephen. What a waste! You all right? I... I used to put it on secretly when you were out. When I went out. Take it off before you came back. So what's this all about? Us. It's about us, Stephen. Four years without any sort, sort of sexual. It's a long time. I thought we would. Once we were married, I, I thought we would. I have needs, Stephen.
I've never looked at men. I avoided them, their eyes. There's something about men's eyes. A sort of greed. I love you, Stephen. I always have. Ever since we were children, but... But? I met someone. Recently. I didn't want it. It just happened. Lynn. Aren't you going to say something? Anything? <clears throat> I'll go. Do you want me to go? With him? I told him it was over days ago. I told him. I said... He loved you. Loves you. Yes. He wanted me to go away with him. Well, perhaps you should. If you want me to. I'd understand. Or do you want to? I could never leave you. She left. Huh? I mean, one minute she was there, the next. Maybe I'm incapable of being loved. Don't expect me. I shan't be coming. What? Sunday. Lunch. Right, well, you know best. I do. Better off bloody dead. You'll tell Lynn. She'll be upset. No, she won't. She'll be relieved. Miserable old bugger. Oh, I know what she says. Got my back. Both of you. Now, that's not true. You know that's not true. That's a wicked thing to say.
sorry I'm late. Just Mr. Robert. Dad is not too good. Isn't there anything they can do for him? That lovely Stephen. Expensive. Where's Lynn? I was wondering that. She said she'd meet me here. Well, maybe she's late as well. Lynn? You can set your watch by her. I'm gonna call her Chantelle. What? Too posh. Posh? Well, Robert wanted to call her Tracy. Where is she? What are you doing here? Has Lynn been in? You look awful. Has she? What's up, boy? I can't find him. What are you talking about? I think she's left me. You didn't know? Feel it? Suspect? No. Never. Not, not for one moment. And you're a fool. I bloody knew. Her eyes. It was in her eyes. I've seen those eyes before. Your mother. When the words don't fit the looks. Those lying eyes. Then had them. Three, four, nine. Is she back? <sighs> what time is it? Are you going to ring the police, or am I? She will be back. I, I can feel it. There's some bloody funny things happening in this place. Never happened before. Not before that boy came here. Pet shop. You thought about that? I didn't think I could face Mansipal again. I was on the telephone! Yes, yes, of course. Your father phoned. Yes! There wasn't another senior officer available, unfortunately. You really do have the most offensive... So I'm told. I'm very concerned about your wife. Come in. I'm a good copper, Mr. Walby. Whatever else I may be. You've heard nothing? No. I have no idea where she... No! Be... Is there anything? What did my dad tell you? Simply that your wife was missing. Has been since yesterday, late morning. That you wanted to wait till this morning because you thought she would... Um... Something's happened. I need to know everything.
And then she told me she'd been having an affair. Uh, two, three weeks. Did she tell you who with? Uh, pet shop. She's looking after the pet shop. The old man, Mr. Bale, is in hospital. His uncle. Name? Nick. He'd come to the house. He wanted to talk. I mean, she told him it was over two days before. She told him to go away, wouldn't he? I better have a word with this. Nick. You know, when she told me, I... I didn't know what to think. I, I couldn't... I couldn't take it in. I couldn't... I just... Will you find your wife in bed with another man? What did you think? Wanted to kill her. I went back to the shop. It was closed, and I, uh, I wrote a note, put it through the letterbox. Saying? Warned him off. Told him not to try to see Lynn again. And? I said I'd kill him if he tried to see Lynn again. I nearly did kill him. The man. My wife was... You think at first of a desperate attempt at dignity. Try to make sense of it. Why do we try to make sense of everything? And then the rage takes over. The violence. You didn't touch her. I've never laid a finger on her. Never. Ever. Ever. Oh, my good God. To everyone, we were the perfect couple. Perfect marriage. People see what they want as yes, but we live our lives on a pinhead. Especially in a place like this. Everyone thinks they know about everyone else. But they don't. How could they? You think she's dead, don't you? Yes? Yes? They found her, sir. Mrs. Wolby. On the mall?
point to the house, I thought. Um... Sorry, found her on the moor. She's like the others. Yes. God Almighty. Where is she? In the wood. I want to see her. No, boy. No, I need to see her. She's been pretty badly. I'll come with you. No. Stephen. No, I don't want you there. What is it? Stephen? Stephen? This is a cruel place. That's all I've got left now. I'll take you home. Where are you going? Stephen! Thank you. Who are you? Police. What? Lynn Walby's body was found on the moor this morning. You don't seem surprised.
Odd. In it? Less than a week after you arrived, there's a murder. Then another. A few days later. Same age. Same build. Same hair. She was frightened. And then you start an affair with Lynn Warby. Age. Build. Hair. She told me. And now she's dead. Frightened of him. Who? She found photographs. She told me. Photographs? Photographs? After all these years, you didn't know me, did you? Peter. Peter Knowles. How can you live with someone? Say you love them. When you're frightened of them. Their unpredictability. Did she say that? Yes. I don't think she'd use that word. That's your word. That's what she meant. What she meant? What you thought she meant? Wanted it to mean? You thought, think, she was frightened of him. You said she said it. But did she actually say it? Did she actually tell you she was frightened of Stephen? Did she? Did she? <laughs> she was a virgin. When she came to me, she was 25 years old. <laughs> Married four years. That's normal. It's not normal. Weird. I'm sick. I used to dream about Vangmore while I was on my travels. Gets you that way if you've been brought up here. I've been saving this for something special. Been all around the world. Walking mostly. Buses, lifts. But the longer I was away, the more I got to thinking about the more. Lived in Kathmandu. A place called Freak Street. It was like it sounds. There was a doctor there. American. Reckoned I'd die if I went on the way I was. So I came home.
When? A month ago. Why are you here? Why aren't you with your... Uh... My family? Yes. Too many memories. Painful memories. They're getting old. They think I'm dead anyway. You can stay with me. You're married, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. She's very beautiful. She's... You should come for dinner soon. Meet her. Lynn. I'm not very good at those sort of things. Social. I'm, I'm not very social. That's, that's why I haven't been to see you before. I needed time by myself, just me and the moor. Sort things out up here. I got a bit last screwed up. The more will heal me. When I first saw you, I, I, I um, well, I did. I didn't know. I didn't know. I nearly reported you. Reported me. These murders on the moor. Murders? You must have seen the police and the helicopters. Yes. Yes. But I... I saw you in town last week. Murders? More than one? It's been on, all the, on the news, on the... Uh... Bus, busted. I, I dropped it. Haven't the police been round here? I, if they have, I, I wasn't here. I'm out there at dawn to dusk. I go to places even you don't know. I don't see anything, really, but the moor. Everything else is there, but not there, if you know what I mean. The cars, the people. I'm sort of locked inside myself. A sort of inner landscape, inner space. You create it, make it the way you want it. Make the invisible visible. I, I suppose I live a sort of lie. Not so much a lie, more a misdirected truth. Is this so strange? Surely we all do it. In different degrees, live out our own convenient, created realities. Don't we? Don't you? I've got to go. Lynn will be wondering. Worried. Murder. The exotic act. It's good to see you. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. What do you mean? I think you're frightened of me. What? I think you see in my confusion your own. I always was your mirror. Then? It's okay. Then?
What you doing? What does it look like? Why? There's something about this last one. It doesn't fit. What? I don't know. I can't put a finger on it. It's something. They're identical. At night, all cats are black. All the victims virtually the same age. Build, colour hair, eyes, all the bodies left on the moor. Of course. What? That's what he thinks we're bound to think. Where's the best place to hide a tree? In a wood. Memory is the first thing we teach a machine. It was a machine that killed the first two. A man, but a machine, without feelings, without remorse. This one. This one's without memory. He doesn't know he's done it. It happens. Two murderers. Two killers. I am the flesh of your flesh. Why did you kill them? Cut off their hair! Why, Dad, and why? I was told to. Told to? They told me to. Why? Who? I mean, who? Who, Dad? My voices. Not better. 
father and son, and what have we done? Get out of here. Go home. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Wake up. Go to work. No. No. That's what they understand. That's what they believe in. They'll find me here. They're bound to find this place in place. Maybe in a month. A year. I killed Lynn. I killed all three. They won't know. They'll never know. He was mad. Mad! He thought they were his wife. Wanted to kill his wife after all these years. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> no. And. Without you, without Lynn, what would I do? somewhere. 